What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pokemon Engine Nation. And today, we're back with another video. Uh, because I haven't been doing these videos, there's a bunch of stuff I have to catch up on for you guys. So, this one's been released three months ago. Three months ago, that's quite a while. Uh, just in case you don't know, each day we're going to be covering two cards from the newest set. So, today. We got Tapu Fini GX and Dark Ride GX. All coming out in the third set, which if you don't know it's Burning Shadows. Um featuring Dark Ride mainly, I think. Dark is one of the big ones, and I think Necrozma and Ho -Oh are the other big ones. So, we're gonna kick it off. We got Tapu Fini uh and Dark Ride GX, so Dark Rider has always been a good card that they printed, so let's see if they make a really good one. So, let's check it out. We got Tapu Fini GX, 178 HP. Water type, of course, it does not have a weakness. As usual, um, all the Tapus don't have weakness. It's a water type, 170. That's pretty okay stats, most like the other uh, Tapus. You got Aqua Ring, 20 damage, you may switch Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. That's an okay first attack. Attach energy, Aqua Ring, switch into a Pokemon that you don't really care about. Or, like, maybe disrupt your opponent, like a Wobbuffet. So you could play, like, a Strafe deck, but if you're going to play that, I'd rather just play Umbreon. But it's a possibility. So you could play just Aqua Ring. It's like, it's a cool first attack. Uh, second attack, Hydro Shoot. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. This so was 120 to one of your points Pokemon. This is basically a Shadow of Latios. Uh, Latios was a cool card. Um, so Latios did 120 for same cost. Three energy. You discard him to 120 to any of your Pokemon. This can be like a cool one time sniping thing. Like if you're playing a water box deck you got something heavily damaged on the bench and you have no way to kill it. Okay, let's bench a Tapu Fini. Let's energy switch. Au double Aqua Patch, let's say, attach. Retreat with Mana Feasibility into Tapu Fini. And I'm just going to snipe that guy. Discard two energy and I can Aqua Patch again. So this is a cool card. Probably going to see a one of the most six. And let's look at Tapu Storm GX. Shuffle your opponent's uh, active Pokemon. All cards attached to it into your deck. If your opponent has no bench Pokemon, this attack fails. So that's kind of sad that this attack fails if they don't have any bench Pokemon. Because you can't just automatically win the game. Like, you could bench Tapu Fini, attach energy, retreat. Oh, let's go. You didn't get any other bench Pokemon. Now I'm going to uh, Tapu Storm GX you, and you lose the game. So sadly, it doesn't do that, which probably makes it a bit worse. But still, if there's a big threat on your opponent's field, bench it. It's one simple energy attachment. You could retreat. End them to a low cost, hoping they can't hit stuff to get back at you. And then you just uh, Tapu Storm, and then next year you could like snipe something or do a bunch of damage with the Lapras. So this is definitely going to see a one of the Lapras sex, I think. It's a cool card. For me, it's going to be between three and four ninjas. Three and four ninjas is going to be my sweet spot on this card. I think it's pretty cool. I think it could see some play, but yeah, it's 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 an okay card. It's an okay card. Not the best. Like it's not gonna be a deck based around it. Uh, so Tapu Fini GX, one of more of those tech guys. Uh, the Dark Rai. Dark Rai GX. They always make Dark Rai a good card. Let's think of Dark Rai X, Dark Pulse, OP, Dark Rai, Dark Cloak. Great. Ah. Uh, mostly all I can think of right now but they mostly make Dark Rai a good card so let's see if he's got a good GX form 180 HP on a basic that's already really good uh, that's right Dark Rai X we got 10 more than the Tapus so 180 that's pretty much a cool spot to be because most people are like okay sweet I'll do Lurantis 120 plus a choice band 150 plus oh my Lurantis oh it's only 170 so Dark Rai is cool Resurrection. Sorry about the phone. Uh, we got Resurrection. 
Once during your turn before you attack, if this card is in your discard pile, you may play this card to your bench and attach one dark energy from that discard pile to this card. Oh, sorry about the phone, guys. Anyways, if you can hear it. That's a great ability. Like, just being able to go from your discard pile onto the bench. Like, okay, you don't even need a coin flip for this. Like, ho-ho. Like, okay, this is mostly compared to ho-ho. Ho, in your discard pile, flip a coin. If heads, attach three different basic energy. Now, automatically, if it's in your discard pile, which is kind of hard because we don't play cards that, like, battle compressor, but if it's in your discard pile, put it onto your bench, attach a dark energy. Like that, simply. Uh, and you can energy switch that energy. You can just preserve it on the dark ride, try to use it later. Um... There's so many things you can do with just the extra energy, the extra 20 damage. You have four, let's say you add four Dark Red GX to the discard pile. You, so, so maybe you might want to play uh, on step playing, maybe you want to play like some Sky Fields, but also some uh, Altar of the Moons. So you can Altar of the Moon, okay now I got free retreat, now I can go Sky Field, get all these energy on the field, maybe energy switch them to other Pokemon, and then counter it with Altar of the Moon. So, because remember, you could play four Dark Cry GX and four Dark Cry EX, right? Because uh, they both they don't have the same exact name. GX and EX are too different. So you could play four Dark Cry GX, get four energy freely, four Max Elixir. Okay, I got eight energy. Uh, so let's say I had eight energy and attach for turn. So you could possibly get nine energies turn one, which is just insane to think about. And then if you puzzled for Max Elixir, uh. We could go on all day with that. We could get 4, 8, 12, 13. 13 energies? Ah, it's insane. 13 energies, turn 1. Uh, Dark Falls, 280 damage. Uh, 13 times 2, plus the 20. So, yeah, it's pretty insane. You could go on with that. So, Dark Regix, already liking its ability. Pretty good ability. Not like overrated, like Ho Ho was a bit better because it kept get back any energy and you could play like Ho Ho Box. Uh, shout out to Kyle Pukasukovic for playing that deck, that deck was awesome. Next up, Dark Rift 3 energy 130. Sack is affected by resistance, just vanilla 130, not affected by resistance. We look at Decidueye 3 energy 90 damage, that's a good card. Look at Dark Rift 130, 3 energy probably gonna be good you could go 130 plus choice band 160 plus kukui that's 180 right obviously you have to hit the kukui which is gonna be really hard most of the time but still that's really that's like good if you just need to do like some solid chip damage 130 okay i did 130 to you kill me now oh you don't kill me i use alter the moon retreat and you so you probably don't have a lysander and then like you go with the dark pulse so there's many ways you could go about this attack it's not like the best overrated attack, uh, like we see on most Dark Rides, it's just vanilla 130. Other Dark Rides, 90, 30 side, that's really good. Or like uh, 20 for each energy, or 160 for 3 energy. But on this card, mm, not exactly the best uh, attacks we've had, but great ability. Dead End GX. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, that Pokemon is not wild. Dead End is a cool name. I would have liked uh, Nightmare GX. I think one of our Pokemon already has that though. Nightmare. That would have been cool because Darkrai always causes Nightmare. Check out the Darkrai movie if you haven't watched. Pretty cool. Dead End. So basically it's a dead end for your opponent if they're affected by a special condition. It's knocked out. I don't really see where you get the special condition though. Like you don't want to have to fit like let's say an area go slide. Or a Salazzo line in a Dark Ride deck. That's wasting space, wasting opportunity. You don't want to fit like a whole Hypno unless you want to play. I'm going to play the old Dark Ride with Dark Pulse. I'm going to do 162 with the Choice Band. I'm going to do 190 with Hypno. Like, and you're going to play All Night Party. Like, that doesn't sound like the best idea. Um, so you probably just want to go with. The you probably just want to go with ignoring the GX attack. It's kind of weird, 
but there's probably jet better sorry jetter better GX attacks that you can use um than dead end because you don't want to have to try to fit something in just that saw uh, you have to try to fit something in that's going to cut away from consistency so dark red GX receiving four ninjas for me four ninjas for me this curve will definitely see play in dark red X for sure darkness probably too uh, it's a really good card for ninjas for me its ability is great uh, but its attack and its GX attack kind not really fitting in with dark right anyways Dark Rai, four Wasis, Tapu Fini, three to four Wasis. I think Dark Rai is infinitely better than Tapu Fini. But both of these cards, really cool cards that you should pay attention to. They could all really see a chance. Tapu Fini probably going to see play. Dark Rai most likely definitely going to see play. So both of these cards are really good. Uh, but if they're going to be on top of the format or a deck's going to be made out of them, Probably not, or we'll have to see that, find out, but mostly cool tech cards or energy accelerators that you can use, or like sniping stuff. So, that's it for me. We got, we looked two GXs, two trainers last time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be up to date. Let me know if you like this type of uh, Pokemon videos. Once again, my PGCGO is work not working, so that's mainly the main reason. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.